Okay, we've all been there. We feel good about the money in our pocket, we buy some food, we make a purchase that we want but maybe don't need, and suddenly we're short on cash. Does this happen to you more than you'd like? Does it stress you out or even force you into debt? It's probably time to make a budget. Don't worry, it's easy. You don't even have to do any math. Okay, well, maybe a tiny bit. But it's okay, you can use a calculator. Really, all a budget is, is a list. Take a paper and draw a line down the middle. The first thing you want to do is make a list of all of your sources of income, the money coming in the door every month, every paycheck you get. How about that regular side hustle? What about income from investments? Oh yeah, and your aunt is so nice to send that $10 bill in the mail every month. Then, on the other side, start writing your expenses. Start off with the big stuff, rent, car payments or transportation, utilities, groceries, any debt payments you need to make, things like that. Now, what about everything you spend money on that you like but maybe don't need? Eating out, entertainment, those new pair of shoes. Treating yourself is great, but you want to do it within your budget. And don't forget to set aside some savings for a rainy day. It's smart to have this baked right into your budget. Senator Elizabeth Warren helped popularize the 50-30-20 budget. Your needs, wants, and savings should fall generally in those ratios. Now you have beginnings of your monthly budget. You can add up all your expenses and subtract it from your post-tax income. How'd you do? It's most efficient to build this kind of budget in a spreadsheet somewhere, whether it's Excel or a Google Doc. Then add new expenses as you spend. And those new expenses will surely pop up. Try to do as much planning as you can for those once or twice a year costs, like buying presents around the holidays, or that vacation you plan every year, or even the unexpected doctor's visits. The more you track your spending and keep an eye on it, the better you'll be at honing in on your monthly expenses. Keeping electronic records of your spending will help you stay organized. And there are apps out there that can help you too. Some can link your credit and debit cards to your budget so you can keep track or even set limits. At the end of the day, it's still a rat race out there. Money can be tight even if you're doing everything right. But the best way to not be scared is to be prepared. Hmm. And a budget is your first step. Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.